Shalom, Mishwana. When it starts all about giving all praise, the Abba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Beloved Spouse of GMS, and honestly, brothers are doing the work in truth, what sincerity. Um, you know, I was just on my phone when this uh, article came up on my Blink feed, and it's just, it just, just goes to show you how far gone this society is, man. You know, look at the headline, I'm a feminist who loves rough sex, and you can read the article for yourself. Right, but it's just, eh, you know, it's like, what, 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 is, what does this crazy chick say? It says, there's nothing about me or my life that wants to be controlled by a man. Outside of the bedroom, I left that last part out of my objection because, quite frankly, etc., 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 goes on to chat more shit. Um, you know, because I remember puzzled to her, or rather, puzzles in general, whenever, when the whole, um, you know, the posh doctrine, quote unquote, was uh, was being debated. One of the things that was said is that's that's their um, that's their number one fantasy, man. You know, and you can look it up yourself. You know, but it's just like Esau's got this world all messed up, man. You know, it's 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 making people lose their mind. They they're going against what they actually want. You know, which is just just stupidness. But this is um this is part of Esau's strong drink. You know what I'm saying? In fact, let me let me uh, uh get that real quick. Right, it says Habakkuk 2 and 12. It says, Woe to him, no, it's not the one I want. 15, it's luck. Habakkuk 2 15 says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that puts thy bolt to him and makes him drunken also. Right, because hey, I don't really care if the Edomite woman likes this crap, man. That's, I mean, not this old feminism crap, man. That's, that's her, but he sort of spread this philosophy all the way, you know, to. To the Israelite woman, you know, to, to and to all the other heathen nations, man. If the heathen nations ain't down with one of Esau's, uh, uh, what you call it, ideals, he just goes there and bombs the shit out of them, man. Right? But what does the scripture say? Now, Isaiah 29, 6, 6, 16, it says, Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Right? Because that's what Esau, Esau's done that. He's turned everything upside down, man. You know, like you see there, it's like, She's into that, but then, you know, she's into that. It makes no damn sense. It's confusion, right? But let's see what the scripture says. This is 1 Timothy 2.11. It says, let the woman learn in silence all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence, right? But here's the thing, nor to usurp authority over the man. Yeah, you go into the schools, hey, man, my, all my teachers were more or less exclusively female. When it's been coming out a lot more recently that a lot of these female teachers man be trying to get off with their students, and I can attest to that. You know, cause hey, apostles have been saying it as well, man. You know, <laughs> shit's not to hit these women nowadays, man. They ain't getting the past that they they've been getting for the last couple of years. Well, but that's why in the scriptures it also says, man. This is why the man was always at the head, because at the end of the day, man, these, these, these uh, little creatures, they need to be controlled, man. You know, they need to be controlled, because they, they can't really think for themselves after a certain age. They, they ain't got that mental capacity, right? This is Numbers 30, and, um, you know, and it's... Let me start from 3, right? I mean, you can, re you can read, you know, all of it. You know, but the, you know, from verse three on down, uh, you know, it's quite a, it's quite a read. But you know, I'm just going to summarize. But he says, "Hey, man, you know, if a man here, here or about, you know, whether it's a father or a husband, you know, if, if he thinks it's something stupid, he'll be like, you know, he'll know that bar man. He has the power to do that. Like I said, and why is that? Because they're impressionable. They're fickle. They don't know what they want." Which is why you get situations like that. that. That's an oxymoron. I remember hearing one where it was, I'm a feminist, but I love it when he comes on my face. The most degrading thing you can do to a woman, coming on her face. Yet, you're saying you're a feminist. That makes no sense, that oxymoron, man. You're confused. You know, but, you know, with that, I'm going to say shalom.